Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We are given f of x plus 4 equals x squared plus 8x plus 16. I want to find f of x here. So let's consider the solution here. So in this video, we are going to be presenting two different methods to solve these functional equations. So let's see method 1. So for the first method, we are going to apply form manipulation method. So we call this one form manipulation. And uh, in this form manipulations, we are going to consider from the left hand side as the right hand side still remains f of x plus 4, which equals x squared plus 8. So, if you look at this very well, x squared plus 8 plus 16, we cannot factorize this. And uh, looking at this, we only get a, uh, we are going to get a number that you cannot factorize. And how can we factorize this using factorization method? So, it's very simple. As when we have this as f of x plus 4, so we can just have this as x squared plus 8x plus 15 plus 1. So here is x squared plus 8x plus 15. We can factorize this. So here we have f of x plus 4 equals, we can call this one x squared plus. Looking at two numbers, the sum is 8 and the product is 15. And the two numbers are 3 and uh, 5. So 3 plus 5 equals 8 and 3 times 5 equals 15. So here we have 3x plus 5x. So 3x plus 5x equals 18. Why for the second one? So because this is having x, that's how we are having x here. So we only take the coefficient for this 15 and just have 3 times 5, that is 15, then plus 1. So if we try and group this, we have f of x plus 4 so this equals x squared plus 3x so we put this one in bracket then plus 5x plus 15 so we put this one in bracket also a is plus 1 then we have f of x plus 4 equals so let's factor out what is common to them so we can factor out x so we factor out x in the bracket we are left with x plus 3 so x times x equals x squared x times 3 equals 3x plus so let's factor out 5 from here so by taking out 5 we are left with x plus 3 so x times 5 equals 5x x times 3 equals 15 then plus 1 outside so after having this, we proceed by writing f of x plus 4 equals, so here we have x plus 3 common to them. So by taking it out, uh, we are going to have just one of this, x plus 3, and we combine their coefficient, which is x plus 5. Then a is plus 1 at the bracket. So this is how we can factorize this one completely. So after we have factorized this, then... We consider x plus 4 here. Here is our domain. So, and since we are applying form manipulation to solve these functional equations, it means we are going to replace this x plus 4 here. But what we are looking here is, what we have here is x plus 3, x plus 5. They are not the same with x plus 4. So what we do here is, we try and remap, we are going to manipulate this. We are going to manipulate this just to look like x plus 4. So here we have f of x plus 4 equals, so for this x plus 3, we can just call it x plus 4, then minus 1. So x plus 4 minus 1, so it's, this, it's the same thing as x plus 3. And also, we are going to call this one x plus 4 plus 1. So this is still x plus 5. And here is plus 1. So since we have x plus 4 here, 
here, x plus 4 here, and x plus 4 here. We can just try and replace x plus 4 with x. So by replacing x plus 4 with x, we have this as f of x. So equals, we change this one to x, the whole of this change to x, then minus 1. So also we change this one to x, so here is plus 1, and here is plus 1 outside. So here we have f of x equals, so I try and expand this, we have x times x, that is x squared, and x times 1, that is plus x, 1 times x, minus x, minus 1 times 1, minus 1, then here is plus 1. So this cancel this, and this also cancel this. So this shows that our f of x equals x squared. So this is how to solve this using form manipulation. So we can actually apply another method. So let's call this one second method and see how that one goes. So let's consider method two. So for the second method, we are going to apply substitution for this. So we call this one substitution method. So here we have x plus 4 which is our domain suppose i let domain which is x plus 4 if i let it equals t so we can just call this one t substitutions so by making x the subject of the formula here we have x equals t minus 4 but from this right hand side we have x squared plus 8x plus 16 so this means that we need 8x and we need x squared so for this if you multiply this one two by um let's say we multiply this one by eight here becomes eight x equals eight times t that is eight t minus eight times four that is thirty two and also we need x squared so from here suppose i squared it we are going to have x squared equals t minus four all squared so by this one we have x squared equals so t minus 4 squared so when we expand this one twice we are going to have t squared minus 16 t plus 16 so here is minus 8 t plus 16 and uh, we have to replace it in the questions so since we have f of x plus 4 and uh, we have changing we have already changed x plus 4 to t so this is f of t equals, so our x squared from the equation becomes t squared minus 8t plus 16. Then plus our 8x here becomes 8t minus 32, then plus 16. So having this, we have f of t equals t squared, so minus 8t plus 8t cancelled. Here we have plus a is 16 plus 16, that is 32 minus 32. And here we have f of t equals t squared, so plus 32 minus 32 cancelled. Then we have to change t to x. So since f, x and t are members of real number, so we can just switch it to, instead of f of t, we change it to f of x equals x squared. And we get the same result when we apply substitution methods and uh, form manipulation methods to solve these functional equations. So this is how to solve this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class. Bye-bye.